still talking about Monday's solar eclipse, but if you didn't listen to safety advice, more than memories can be sticking with you this morning. 22 News reporter Dunk McLean is live outside of Bay State Medical Center with signs the eclipse may have damaged your eyes. Rich Taylor, I, like many people around the country, just can't get those beautiful images of Monday's total solar eclipse out of my head. But for many people across the United States, they literally can't unsee it. Now, according to Google Trends data, searches for why do my eyes hurt spiked in the days since that rare eclipse. Experts say it is possible that you injured your eyes by looking directly at the partial eclipse, but it's less common than people think. Only about 100 patients nationwide reported eclipse-related retinopathy after the 2017 eclipse, according to survey data. That damage is marked by symptoms like blind spots in your vision, like a dead pixel on a computer or TV screen, along with wavy lines, floaters, or blurry vision. Pain, though, is not an indicator of this kind of injury, with the retina incapable of registering pain or temperature. If you do suffer retina damage, I'm afraid there is no treatment. But if you're having vision issues, you should be seen by an eye doctor right away. Damage like this can happen after just one or two seconds of looking at the sun, eclipse or not. So we'll repeat that safety warning for you one more time. Don't stare directly at the sun. Working for you live in Springfield, Duncan McLean, 22 News.